What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Virgo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general psychic reading for sign of Virgo. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, sun, midheaven, and Jupiter charts. Stuff you the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, love you guys. If you'd like to donate, type Priestess to row five. Um, the link in the description box below is for my personal readings. Most of them are booked, but if you'd like to interested in booking one, you have to text me to book. I have some slots open. Most are filled. And I offer a new service called Life Coaching if anybody's interested. Um, love and appreciate all the love and support to the channel. Single mom with two kids. And yes, I don't have primary custody right now, but it doesn't mean I don't love them anymore. Or any less, rather. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so this is for the size of Virgo. This can resonate with your Virgo in any aspect of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out the, your other Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts for additional messenger messages. Free general collect pretty. So don't be forcing any messages that don't fit. Only take the messages that apply and let the rest fly. Love you guys so much. Okay, so... The channel message I received for the side of Virgo for second week of October 2022, I heard a significant parent complaint to a school system is about to cause an assistant principal to have to step down. I heard a counselor to have to relocate very far counties and um, a teacher, uh, a teacher to be on academic probation. Uh, heavy parent complaint energy in a school system. It sounds like already happened or upcoming. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, heavy parent complaint energy. I feel for a lot of you guys, you're the parents complaining on these educators or so-called educators. But you plug it in how it resonates. How that resonates, Virgo. It's coming up in your reading. Heard it's going to cause a um, assistant principal to have to step down. A counselor. To have to move many counties over, so I guess transfer many counties over to, if they want to keep their position or whatever, whatever. For some reason, they're going to have to move many counties over, I guess, to keep their job or whatever. I mean, I didn't hear the details in that. I just heard the counselors going to have to move many counties over. So far distances from where they are, and they work in a school system. Assistant principal is going to have to step down from their position, and a teacher is about to go under heavy and um. Uh, some kind of academic probation, heavy investigation, heavy investigation, heavy investigation. So some kind of probationary heavy investigation due to an investigation, uh, due to some kind of parent complaints that have already been put into the school system or about to be. Now, I feel for a majority of my collective, you're probably the parents about to put the complaints into the school system or you already have. Um, I feel you're doing an official report to the school system or you're about to. I don't feel this is just a call to the principal like I did, which I should have made an official report when I moved out here. Um, but I just called, hoping they would fix it, and they didn't. And that's just the truth. So I think you're about to make an official report. So good for you. Or you already have. But it's about to cause a lot of people, uh, vice principal to have to step down, um, a counselor to have to move counties, and a teacher about to have to go under some kind of probationary period because of some kind of investigation. Kudos to the parents about to take some action to help protect your kids. Absolutely. Go with your bad self. Spirit messages you have a sign at Virgo. When these, this occurs and it's going to happen soon, many complaints have already came in. Many more are about to come in. Parent complaints. When this happens, one of these Virgos, they are an educator. They will put an official complaint in on a Gemini masculine. He's a pedophile. To the police. Oh my God. Whoa. So I heard when this happens, I heard it's going to happen soon. 
I heard many parent complaints have already come in. I think on the official parent portal, whether it's city school system or county school system, wherever you guys are, the parents about to already made the complaints or you're about to make the complaints. I think you're doing it officially through the school system portal, not just calling the school like I did. Um, I heard when one, of, okay, so when this happens, I heard it's going to happen soon. The assistant principal about to have to step down. The counselor about to have to move counties and the teacher about to go on academic probation regarding some kind of investigation or something, however that resonates. I heard one of, it sounds like one of these people, one of these so-called educators, they're going to put an official complaint in to the police on a Gemini masculine pedophile. So um, it's, it sounds like when it, these so-called educators get exposed, they are connected to some kind of Gemini masculine pedophile. And once a series of chain of events get created for them, they're going to step up and put a report into the police on the Gen Gemini masculine pedophile. Um, is what it sounds like. But you plug it in how it resonates. Kudos to the parents taking some action to protect your kids. Um, I heard that many reports have already come in. Many more about to. So kudos to you. I think you're doing it through the official portal, whether your city school system, county school system, or whatever school system you reside in. I didn't hear specific locations. Only you know what location you are, whether you've already put the parent complaint in, or you're about to. On the assistant principal, the counselor, or the um, teacher. I hope that resonates and applies. Kudos to you guys. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Spirit messages you have for Tucky. This Gemini masculine is about to ever regret the past. Ever regret the past. And these so-called educators. Okay, I heard these so-called educators are about to ever regret the past and this Gemini masculine. So, um... I heard the Gemini mask is a pedophile, so um, he need, his ass needs to be exposed. And if he's around children, the children need to be removed from his care. If he has, um, you know, custody or parental rights or what have you, what have you, and he ass needs to be put on a pedophile watch list. And I'm just being for real. Of course, you know, I'm just a citizen over here. Feeling tied down or frustrated, work achievement success, August. Spirit message this year, I would like this. A cancer is about to shock the hell out of a Virgo soon. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. A cancer is about to shock the hell out of a Virgo soon. Some of these cancers in a positive way, some in a negative way. So whoever you are, Virgo, some kind of cancerian energy is about to shock the hell out of you. I think they're about to have courage and bravery, or you are. However that resonates, um, they're going to shock the hell out of you, either in a positive way or a negative way. You plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Whoever this cancer is to you now, I didn't hear specifically who they are to you. For some, you'd be dealing with the earth sign or a water sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Mini, or Jupiter charts, if you are. A very single Virgo masculine, bisexual, through many series of chain of events, he's about to pack up and leave a city. He's a nurse. He's about to pack up and leave a city. Leave it all behind. Tie up loose ends. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, RN. He's an RN. A Virgo masculine RN. Um, currently employed, currently employed. He's a, I heard he's bisexual. So there's a reason I heard he's bisexual. He's a bisexual Virgo masculine RN currently employed in the workforce. I heard through many series of chain events, he's about to pack up and leave the current, he's in a city in Oz area right now, it sounds like. 
obviously it's, it sounds like he works in the city and ice area i don't know if he resides in the city and ice area but i heard he's about to pack up tie up the loose ends and basically just move um i heard he's single so i think that's significant meaning you know he doesn't have to worry about schools or kids blue cards or um records or what have you what have you he can just tie up whatever he needs to tie up and move on so Virgo masculine, Aryan, bisexual Aryan. He could have a uh, Virgo in any aspects of his chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. I think he feels tied down or frustrated. For some, you could be this Virgo masculine, bisexual Aryan currently employed in the um, universe. You feel tied down, frustrated, and you want to leave cities. And you're about to do it. You're going to have courage and bravery and do it. I don't think you're happy in the city you're in now is what I think. And obviously, you don't have any attachments like kids to, that hold you down as far as um, not holding you down, but extra stuff you have to do, like pulling medical records, pulling blue cards, um, what have you, what have you. Deep breath. And Aries is about to be very pissed that this Virgo masculine is about to pack up. But he doesn't care. And a Gemini. Okay, I heard of Aries and a Gemini is about to be very pissed that this Virgo masculine is about to pack up and leave. But I heard he doesn't care. So you Virgo masculine, you're coming very strong. You're Virgo masculine, single Aryan, registered nurse. You're bisexual. Doesn't sound like you have anything that holds you down in this city. Hell, I'd go too if I was you. Um, I'm trying to fight for custody back of my kids, so I'm different. But you don't have kids. So, I, hell, I'd pack up and go too if I was you. But I love my kids. I want my kids back. But everybody's situation is different. But I heard you're about to pack up and go. I heard an Aries and a Gemini is going to be pissed at you, but you don't care. So, whoever the Aries and Gemini is, you have to plug them in how they resonate. I feel it could be a boss, maybe. They're pissed that a worker's about to go or um it could be a manager boss supervisor ceo it could be a person in your past it could be a family member it could be a community member it could be anybody they gonna be pissed that you're choosing to go but hell it's your free will i don't blame you zebra A Virgo feminine has earned their stripes in the workforce. They're about to get promoted soon. It's about to piss the hell out of a water sign. Piss the hell out of them. Piss them off so bad. This water sign is very sexist. Water sign masculine. Okay. So, um, you're Virgo femme and you work in the workforce in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you're about to get promoted soon. Congratulations, ma'am. If this resonates for you, I heard you've earned your stripes. So you're like a zebra and you've earned your stripes. I heard it's going to piss the hell out of a, uh, piss the hell off of a, a water sign's about to get pissed off. A water sign masculine is about to get pissed off. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio sexist masculine. So whoever this sexist Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine is in your life, he's about to get pissed off because I think he, oh, I heard he's sexist. So. I don't think he believes women should have the, for the same success in the workforce as men. And I'm just being for real. But I heard you don't care. You're going to be happy. This is the promotion energy. You go with your bad self, ma'am. Work achievement success. You're about to earn a promotion. Uh, promotion. Promotion. Um, whoever this sexist water sign masculine is, just let him roll off your shoulders. Courage. Bravery. You're very brave, I feel, in the workforce. You've earned your stripes. You're about to get promoted. You're about to have work achievement success. Who cares if he's uh, pissy in his pants? And that's just the truth, ma'am. Whoever he is to you, okay? You're younger. Okay, I heard you're younger, ma'am. You're younger, so you're 35 or below. Um, Virgo Femme, about to get promoted in the workforce. Congratulations. Well...
The death of an older Pisces masculine is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. He's in his 70s. The death of an older Pisces masculine is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. I heard he's in his 70s. So you plug it in how it resonates Virgo. Some kind of older Pisces masculine energy. Um, he's in his 70s. So, you know, I feel 70 to 79. But it sounds like he's about to pass away soon. Uh, now, whether people expect him to pass away or they don't, I don't know. I didn't hear that part. But is a Pisces masculine older in his 70s? He's about to pass away soon. It's about, he's about to become significant in your life. For some, um, maybe you deal with him in the workforce or maybe he's a family member or a family friend or a neighborhood um, acquaintance or something of that nature or a person of your past. But he's a... Or however that resonates. But he is an older Pisces masculine in his 70s, I heard. You can have Pisces in any aspects of his charts. One, it's about to be a, a heart attack. One, it's about to be a motor vehicle accident. One, he's about to fall off a ladder. Oh, my God Almighty. There's three of them. There's three. There's three. One's about to fall off the ladder. One, it's involving some kind of motor vehicle accident. And one, it's going to be some kind of heart attack. So, myocardial infarction. Um, whoever this older Pisces masculine is in your life, Virgo, um, whoever he is, there's three of them. One, he's about to fall off a ladder. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be fatal. But, you know, he's in his 70s, bless his heart. One, uh, it sounds like it might be a widowmaker, heart attack, uh, myocardial infarction. Maybe he don't get to the hospital in time or it just takes him out right then and there. I'm not sure. And one, um, motor vehicle accident. So I don't know if he causes it or somebody else causes it, but um, it sounds like he's going to be involved in this motor vehicle accident. Um, whales are leaders of the ocean. So maybe he was a leader in your life, Pisces. I'm not Pisces. Um, Maybe you're dealing with Pisces. Maybe he was a leader in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, Virgo. Or maybe he, I'm feeling grandfather energy here. Feeling grandfather energy or leader in a workspace or or a maybe he's a leader in a community dynamic. Or um, or you went to him for knowledge because whales are leaders of the ocean. People respect the whales in the ocean. So I feel maybe he was well respected. Or um, or he was like a, a, a respected elder in his community or something of that nature. Um, there's three of them. So you plug it in how it resonates. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. These deaths are going to be very unexpected. These deaths are going to be very unexpected is what I heard. These deaths are going to be very unexpected. So they're going to be very unexpected whether the older Pisces masculine falls off the ladder, has the myocardial infarction, the heart attack, or um, gets in, uh, is in part of some kind of motor vehicle accident. Feeling tied down and frustrated? A very codependent Pisces is about to annoy the hell out of you. Coworker, very codependent, very annoying. They're about to annoy the hell out of you. You're about to stand up and say something. Oh, my God. 
Okay, so one of you guys has a very codependent Pisces co-worker. It could be masculine or feminine Pisces co-worker. They could have Pisces in any aspects of their charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But they're very codependent, meaning I think they come to you for um, maybe the gossip train or money or time or energy or information. or It sounds like they always just come to you, come to you, come to you, come to you. When they, it sounds like they could maybe research it themselves or find out for themselves. or It's like you were their catch-all. Um, here. I heard they're very codependent on you, Virgo. Um, I heard soon it's in a workspace dynamic. So your co-workers with them or your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO of them or something. But how that resonates, they're very codependent on you in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you're about to stand up to them. So you're about to, you feel tied down or frustrated by this codependent Pisces and you're about to stand up to them in some shape, form, or fashion. You're about to have courage and bravery and stand up to them. And I think it's going to be publicly in a workplace situation because I heard you're some kind of some kind of co-working dynamic, whether it's a subordinate to um, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, a dynamic or co-worker, co-worker dynamic. One, you're overrun with bills and student loans, but you know moving is the best option, and it is. Okay, I heard one, you're overrun with uh, bills and student loans, and you know that moving is the best option, and I heard it is. So, um, heavy moving energy in here. Heavy moving energy. So, courage and bravery to move. Um, I heard you, whoever this is message is for, I heard you have a lot of student loans and a lot of bills. So I think you're in a cost a heavy cost of living area. Um, and then compiled with the student loans, it makes it hard to live your best life. Basically, when you're tied down with student loans and bills, when you probably know you can move to a cheaper cost of living area or move somewhere to where maybe you, um, Maybe you live by yourself, for example. I'm not saying you do. I don't know if you do or don't. But, or move to a place to where you split the bills. You know, like a roommate situation or a cheaper cost of living or or you rent a room somewhere or something like that. Um, depending, I don't know if you're single, married, or I didn't hear the details. But how this resonates, you have a lot of bills and you have a lot of student loans. And you know moving and I feel far locations is the best option for you. And I heard it is. Uh, so I think you're going to have success by moving with your bills your, and your financial situation and probably work, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, maybe finding work. And work achievement success. Virgo knows a situation is not right of the past. They've been watching an online tarot reader, a fire sign tarot reader for a while. They know something's not right, and they're right, it's not. There are many series of chain events. They're about to help investigate this. For one, there's already an earth sign investigator investigating this. One, another one's about to help. Okay, so you're an investigator if this resonates for you. Um, there's already, I heard there's already an earth sign investigator investing, investigating this, so I think you might help this other earth sign investigator investigate this, because you're a Virgo investigator. There's another earth sign investigator investigating this already. Heard you've been watching a fire sign, femme, popular online social media, terror, um, online social media platform person for a while. Heard you know something's not right, and I heard you're right, it's not. But there's already somebody investigating this there's already somebody investigating this i think you're going to help collaborate with this person and have work achievement success 
um, to figure out what's really going on. Courage and bravery here. I heard there's already an Earth sign investigating this. So maybe you're going to collaborate with the other Earth sign, Virgo. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Mid America. Mid America is what I just heard. I pulled that in my other Virgo reading too. Maybe you reside in Mid America, or maybe this fire sign online social media platform person resides in Mid America. You could reside in Mid America. She could reside in Mid America. Somebody resides in Mid America. But I think you're going to have work, achievement, success. And for some, you might know this other earth sign that's already investigating this, or you might reach out to the other earth sign investigator or investigating this. Somehow the other earth sign investigator investigating this is significant in here, Virgo. Um, whether you knew they were already investigating the situation or not, okay? August? Virgo saw huge changes in August of 2022. Huge changes. They're about to see more. It has scared the hell out of them. One is about to start talking soon regarding their toxic family. One regarding a toxic school system. One regarding a toxic guardian ad litem. Okay, wow. Okay, so huge changes. You've seen, you have seen huge changes since August of 2022, Virgo, if this resonates for you. You have, if this resonates for you. Um, whoever this is for, I heard you're about to start speaking. Some on a toxic school system, some on a toxic guardian ad litem. So that's a child's attorney if that resonates, um, if you don't know what that is. And some on, um, what was the other thing? A toxic school system, a toxic guardian ad litem, and there was another thing. You have to go back and check it. Um, but you're about to start speaking on it. You're about to start speaking on it. It sounds like you did not speak on it. Oh, toxic family. Your toxic family. So your toxic family, a toxic guardian ad litem, which is uh, a child's attorney, and a toxic school system. You did not speak uh, on it in the past. I think you felt tied down or frustrated. But si so for some reason, you feel confident enough to speak on it now when you could felt like you couldn't in the past or you couldn't. Courage and bravery here, um, standing up for yourself or kids or your kids or somebody else's kids or however that resonates. Somehow your toxic family is involved with this. For some, for some they may not be. For some, it's a toxic guardian ad litem. For some, it's a toxic school system. For some, one could resonate. For some, two or two plus could resonate. But you've seen huge changes, I think, in your toxic family. And a toxic guardian ad litem in a toxic school system since August of 2022, and it's giving you a huge wake-up call. So since you've got a huge wake-up call seeing all these changes in either your toxic family, a toxic guardian ad litem, or a toxic school system, you're about to speak up now if this resonates and applies. Virgo. It could be regarding your kids or somebody else's kids because we have heavy school system energy and guardian ad litem energy, which is the child's attorney energy. The EOC is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. And a disability claim. And e the EEOC and a disability claim is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. So courage and bravery. Maybe you're going to have courage and bravery to go to the EEOC, Virgo. Uh, maybe your civil rights were violated is what I'm feeling. EEOC is Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. It's basically standing up for one's civil rights in an employment situation. For anybody who doesn't know that. Or the EEOC is about to become significant in one of you guys' life. So maybe you're an investigator who works for the EEOC. Maybe you're going to visit the EEOC. Um, or you know somebody that's going to visit the EEOC or they did visit the EEOC, whether they were successful or unsuccessful. How that resonates and applies. And some kind of filing for disability claim, whether you are or somebody you're connected to is. Okay? 
However, that resonates and applies, Virgo. EEOC is Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. It's basically a place you go if you if you, you feel or you know your civil rights were violated in a workplace situation. You can Google EEOC, capital EEOC, if you're not familiar with what that is, okay? A Virgo is about to get a huge fire lit under their ass, a huge fire lit under their ass to a Libra, feminine, and a Gemini masculine. They made a Leo feminine out like they were idiot, and they most certainly are not. This Virgo is about to tear into their ass. Oh my God. Yikes, Virgo. So, um, whoever you are, you can be a masculine feminine Virgo, have Virgo and E aspects to your charts. I heard a Toxic Libra Feminine and a Toxic Gemini Masculine basically made a Leo Femme out to look like an idiot to you. So they gossip, gossip trained about this Leo Femme and made her out to look like an idiot to you. Obviously behind her back, obviously. But for strategic reasons, because I heard they're toxic. So they did it for strategic reasons. Like, I'm feeling like a win at all cost energy, but I didn't hear that. But I heard you're about to lay into their ass. You're about to lay into their ass um, because... Obviously, I think you've already figured out she's not an idiot, or you're about to figure out she's not an idiot. And I think you feel tied down or frustrated because you know you were lied to. You were lied to in a huge ass way, a huge way, and you're about to give it to them. Oh my God, I heard you were lied to in a huge ass way, a huge ass way, and you're about to give it to them. So you 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 were lied to, confirmation, ma'am, uh, or sir, or sir, you mean ma'am or sir? You were lied to in a huge ass way, and you're about to give it to them. I think verbally. But you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Only you know who this toxic Libra feminine is and toxic Gemini masculine is. They can have Libra or Gemini in any aspects of their charts. Only you know who these people are. But they're very toxic, and I heard they did it for strategic reasons. The truth has been exposed. It's going to continue to be exposed. The truth has been exposed. It's going to continue to be exposed, is what I heard. The truth has been exposed. It's going to continue to be exposed. So... You know, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to hide. So maybe you're helping expose the truth or something's about to be exposed on you. Energy is clear first. Only you know if you have something to hide or somebody else has something to hide. But some kind of truth, whether it's your truth or somebody else's truth, is about to be exposed. I think somebody's about to have a lot of courage and bravery and expose this truth. You plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. I think somebody's about to have a, a success exposing this truth. And I think they feel tied down or frustrated because they wasn't able to in the past or felt like they couldn't in the past or something. A Virgo is about to be a huge game changer. A huge game changer in a child custody battle situation soon. They were on they were on one side and in the past, but now they're completely on another side. They're about to make it very publicly known. Okay. Wow, Virgo. So, child custody battle, energy strong. You were completely on one side in the past, but for some reason you're completely on the other side now. So, only you know why you're completely on the other side now. On one side, you were on the other side at one point. Only you know. Not anybody else. Um... But I heard you're about to be make it very publicly known that you're on the other side now. And one side you were, at one point you were on the other side. You're about to have courage and bravery, publicly standing up for this situation or whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Okay. A Virgo's grandchild is about to move very far distances to another city. It's about to shock the hell out of them. They do not want them to go. A Virgo's grandchild is about to shock the hell out of them and move very far distances to another city. Uh, if this resonates with you, you have a grandchild, Virgo. And I heard they're going to shock you and move very far distances to another city. And um, I heard you don't want them to go. So you pl they're going to have courage and bravery and move. But you don't want them to go for some reason. So. You plug it in, how it resonates. Love you guys so much. Namaste.